Hello everyone, this is Noble Mustak, and today we are here with another main association of Math League's problem from March 2011, Meet 5, Round 1, Algebraic Fractions and Fractional Equations, Problem 3. So this is the actual round from 2011, as you would see it in competition. It has the old name, Algebraic Fractions with Factoring, because it's from 2011, but the new name is Algebraic Fractions and Fractional Equations. As you can see, it has some equations, or a word equation, in the case of the first problem, and fractions. And today, we are doing problem number three. Find all real values of x, such that 1 over x squared minus x squared all over 1 over x plus x equals 3 halves. Okay. So, this equation is kind of confusing, because there's a fraction within a fraction, and we want to get rid of that, so the way we can get rid of 1 over x squared is by multiplying by x squared, and the way we can get rid of 1 over x is by multiplying by x. So if we take x, if we want to multiply both by x and x squared, we can just multiply by x squared, and that'll cancel both fractions. So if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by x squared, this will just become a normal fraction that's not as complex as this. So we can do that. And the numerator is multiplied by x squared, giving us 1 minus x to the 4th. And the denominator is multiplied by x squared, giving us x plus x cubed. That equals 3 halves. And we have a fraction equals a fraction, so we cross-multiply. 2 minus 2x to the 4th on the left-hand side. And then 3x cubed plus 3x on the right-hand side. And then we sub subtract both sides by 2 minus 2x to the 4th to get 0 equals 2x to the 4th plus 3x cubed plus 3x minus 2. And then we can use the rational roots theorem, which says that some the possible rational zeros that you can have for a polynomial are the factors of the last term divided by factors of the first term. So the factors of the last term are 1, negative 1, 2, and negative 2. And the factors of the first term are 1, negative 1, 2, and negative 2. So there's 16 different combinations, because you can choose one from the first group and one from the second group. And if you do all of those combinations out, you get six distinct possible answers. 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 1 half, and negative 1 half. So these are the possible rational answers to this equation. We might also have irrational answers, but these rational numbers are a starting point for finding zeros. Okay, so we guess x equals 1, that gives us 6, so it's not an answer. We guess x equals negative 1, that gives us negative 6, so it's not an answer. Uh, we guess x equals 2, that gives us 60, so it's not an answer. But if we guess x equals negative 2, then we get 0. So x equals negative 2 is an answer. So that means if x equals negative 2 is a 0, then we can factor out x plus 2. So there are two ways to do this. You can use synthetic division, or you can do what I did with factor by grouping. So we start with 2x to the 4th, and multiply that by 2 to giving us 4x cubed, and in order, because we have 3, we need 4 minus 1, so we get minus x cubed, multiply that by 2, which gives us minus 2x squared, we need 0x squared, so we add 2, giving us plus 2x squared, multiply by 2, you get 4x, we need 3x, so subtract 1, giving us minus x, and then we just transfer the minus 2 over here, and then we can do factor by grouping, x plus 2, and then 2x cubed, minus x squared, plus 2x, minus 1. Okay, so now we have 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. So it goes 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1. Here is a very clear factor by grouping thing, because we can factor out 2x minus 1 from the 2x cubed minus x squared and the 2x minus 1. And that gives us x plus 2, 2x minus 1, and then x squared plus 1. And then we can factor out the x squared plus 1 into x plus i and x minus i. So now we have all four factors of the quartic polynomial. And then we find the zeros. We get negative 2, 1 half, negative i, and i. In the original problem, it said that it wanted the real answers. So we get negative 2 and 1 half as our answer. And that's it. So, 
This problem in particular is a quartic, which means it's a fourth degree polynomial. Most of the problems in this round that are number three tend to be quadratics. So if you want more practice with some easier, more normal problems, then you can try those out. I thought this problem was interesting just because it was a quartic. But I hope you like this problem. And have fun doing your math.